All right, are we recording? I think we are. This is footage from the Google Pixel 4. Looks pretty decent. I'm gonna use this phone to vlog this weekend. We got a few things going on. We're about to head to a party right now, and it is evening. The sun has just set, so we'll start this off with low life. What's funny is I told Carrie that we have to make a little pit stop on the way to the party because my friend left something there and I have to go pick it up, but really, we're gonna go pick up Adam Busby. He's coming with us too, and Carrie is a huge fan of Out Daughter, the show on TV. DLC, so we'll see how she reacts. Are you ready to go to this party? Yeah. Let's go. You're getting lit by this red light, so it's like really oh, bright. Looks scary. It looks crazy. Fuck scared. Yeah. Look at this low light performance. You're gonna film me staring at the grass trying to figure out what type of grass is that? Because yeah. that's the kind we need for our yard. <laughs> I think it's I'm, Bermuda. I'm testing out the low light, so you know I'm gonna just be randomly filming you, even if nothing interesting is about to happen. Probably gonna film me in my sleep. <laughs> Are you excited to pick up this hard drive? I'm excited to get out of this damn car. It took us like an hour to get here. You getting the dog hair off your off your pant? Yeah. Here, yeah, face this wall right here. Wait, is it? He's Wait. the hard drive. You're the hard drive? <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, we gotta clean up the back of the okay. seat. We're gonna go to the party. Oh my god! Huh? Yeah. Oh my god. She's pretty disgusting, huh? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> if, you, if you want to. Yes. Well, she was she was lint rolling her pants like just like two seconds ago, like this. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. No, I'm gonna make sure that you're like just doing something completely random and he pops Dude, I up. I want him to love me. <laughs> Childish Gavin, if you're watching this, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Anyways, that was a super fun weekend. We got to go and hang out with Adam. And now I've got this phone on the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 phone, which is a gimbal. So everything should look super smooth. Look at that. What's up, Sam? Oh, dirty yard. I don't want to show that part of the yard. That's part's a disaster. See, I have to make sure we frame in here. It's interesting because in photo mode, I could even go wider than this. I'm going to take a picture real quick. So that's awesome for those selfies, but I wish that in video mode, we could go ultra wide out as well. That would have been cool. But the new iPhone 11 Pro Max, this one is wider. So if you like having that ultra wide vlog angle, iPhone's probably the way to go. Wow, look how much dynamic range this iPhone has. I mean, this is terrible, terrible lighting. I'm in direct sunlight and Sam's in the shadows. So this is really tough lighting for any camera, but the iPhone's actually pulling Sam up pretty well opposed to the pixel but anyways i'm going to swap out this bumper which finally came in the mail and hopefully the footage out of this phone looks pretty cool let's do this dang it don't have enough tools this one's too big this one's too small to the store i really only just need that one piece right there but it comes in a kit so Let's, let's just do it. This is all I need, really. I'm just kidding. I'm totally keeping this. No way. This is like over 150 bucks. Hey, Jane, I'm not a mechanic or anything, but is that how you're supposed to do it? <laughs> I think, I don't know. It's working. Bumper installation is supposed to be really easy. I did it last time in my Jeep Wrangler. It was a piece of cake, but we are just running into issue after issue with this one. I was trying to get this done before you came in today. And now it is like, like 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was like nine o'clock in the morning is when I was planning on being done. It's now like four o'clock. This sucks. This sucks. Hopefully Steve is here to save the day. He's the producer. He fixes problems. That's what he does. So he's trying to chop off a bolt with a hacksaw.
We're getting chewed up by mosquitoes. Look at that. I was just looking at the Jeep and it has some writing on there. I was like, where's that coming from? I was looking all around. I couldn't find it. Turns out it was writing on the sky. Look at that. Oh, it says, thank you to the world. That's a nice message to everybody. That should give you guys some encouragement to keep on cutting. Well, I'm glad that we're just spending time together. No, I want to go home. Next time, we're going to a mechanic. <laughs> It's 11 o'clock now, and I'm finally done. Not gonna lie, that was a nightmare to put on a bumper. A bumper should only take like an hour to put on, but there was just issue after issue. My delicate little hands feel like they're just gonna just turn into dust. Oh God, I need some sleep and a beer. Never again am I doing my own mechanical work. I am gonna hire a professional. So there you go, a vlog shot entirely on this Google Pixel 4. What'd you guys think? Was it a cinematography masterpiece or was it just meh? By the way, this phone was sent to me for free by Google. So Google, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. But if you're like me and literally the only thing you care about a phone is how good the video quality is out of the phone, I would totally not get this phone. Sorry, Google, I really, really wanted to like this camera because you guys are awesome and I love you guys, but I would never spend my own money on this. And again, I'm just talking about video quality. The photography out of this camera seems legit, but video, that's all I do. I mean, the footage out of here isn't terrible, right? It's what you would expect out of a phone, but that's kind of the issue is that it's exactly what it looks like, footage out of a phone. I mean, this is my daily driver, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And while I was vlogging on this, sure, some of the shots did look like it was out of the phone, but there were many, many shots shots where I was like, whoa, I can't believe this is coming out of an iPhone. Footage out of the Pixel was totally fine, but I was just never wowed by it. The obvious thing that this is clearly missing is the ultra wide angle lens. You know, my iPhone has ultra wide angle lens. Samsung has ultra wide angle lens. Huawei has, everyone has wide angle lenses. So I'm just a little surprised that it's not in here. And as a vlogger, every time I use this phone, I'm probably in that ultra wide angle lens like 70% of the time. I love it. I can't go back anymore. Once you go wide, you can't go back. I wish that rhymed. This isn't wide, it gets denied. With this wide, I am satisfied. <laughs> Thanks to Rhymer.com for helping me out with that. I should have been a rapper. That sounds way more fun than reviewing camera phones. <laughs> now going back to some of that low light footage on the Pixel, it did look better than the iPhone in some cases, especially if you're just watching the footage on a small screen. It does appear to be nice and bright. But for me at least, the bigger the screen I was watching it on, the less good it looked. The Pixel is willing to boost that gain and leave that shutter open longer. So sometimes it can look a little bit blurrier. You see these artifacts. So depending on the situation, sometimes the iPhone looks better. Sometimes the Pixel looks better. But Adam did point out that the Pixel does like to elevate the blacks a little bit and gives it a little bit of a blue tint. Because if you use the iPhone to shoot something that's black, it looks black. On the Pixel, it looks a little bit lifted, like grayish or bluish. Even during the daytime where there was plenty of light, I was able to see a lot of grain in the bumper, which again, you might not notice if you're looking at it on a small screen like your phone, but the bigger your screen gets, the more you realize, wow, that does not look great. By the way, shout out to Adam Busby for being down to surprise Carrie. I'm not kidding when I say she's always watching him on TV. And he's got a YouTube channel too, right there. Hit it if you wanna check it out, which is really entertaining because he has six daughters, five of them born at once. So he had quintuplets, all girls, first time in America, crazy, right? If you have a kid and having a tough time because they won't start crying or whatever, then just remember Adam did it with six children and he made it out alive. The one time I did prefer the Pixel over the iPhone was when I was taking a few stills in selfie mode. Pretty much all the shots out of the Pixel came out sharp, whereas all the shots out of the iPhone just came out looking blurry, didn't look that great. Also on the stock camera app, you can't access 24 frames per second where you can on the iPhone. I get it, not everyone needs 24 frames per second, but for someone like me that shoots most of my videos in 24, it would have been really nice to be able to just dial in the settings so I could match this camera with this. I'm sure you can access it with some third-party apps, but I just kind of wish that you could just go into the advanced menu and set it to 24, that would have been nice. I think most of the strengths of this camera is probably in the photo world, less in the video world. Again, if they had that ultra wide angle lens in here, I think I would be much more drawn to it. I'm really loving the ultra wide angle lens. So any camera phone that comes out from here on out, that doesn't have an ultra wide, no thanks. And even the standard 1X zoom lens on here is still wider than the 1X zoom on here. So even if you don't have ultra wide angle on this, it's still wider. 
than this. Anyways, enough of that. Let's read some comments from my last video, which is all about editing 8K footage on a laptop. Is it possible? Can you do it? Turns out the answer is yeah, especially if you have a nice powerful GPU. Top comment was from Chris Chung. Gene, I think I'll rip another backdrop today. <laughs> Yes, ripping backdrops, probably my favorite thing to do. I don't really like doing it because it's wasteful, but sometimes like this starts getting wrinkled because I keep whacking at it accidentally and I end up needing to cut it anyways to replace it with a nice clean sheet, but it's just like you got you got to rip through it. Don't ever waste paper without ripping through it. Adam says, Gene flexes the red camera in every way possible. No, I don't. Why do you guys keep thinking I do? My red camera only shoots 5K. Mine only shoots 480p, sad face. By the way, have you guys heard of the red Komodo that's being rumored? Man, I I wish I had some insider information about it so I could tell you guys all about it and then get sued. Unfortunately, I know nothing about it. I'm pretty bad at keeping secrets so no one tells me anything. But here's what we know so far. It's a 6K sensor that is not Monstro, Helium, Gemini, or Dragon. So it's none of the sensors that we currently have. It's gonna be a Canon RF lens mount, which is gonna be cool. Cause I mean, some of the Canon lenses that they're releasing, super sharp and really impressive. It does not use proprietary media. Oh, that's gonna be good. Cause I spend a lot of money on their memory cards. It is not under $5,000 unless you own a hydrogen. So how much is this thing going to cost? Wait a second. Is this a photo of the actual thing? Whoa. Oh God, I hate rumors, but it sounds like it might be an affordable red. We'll see, but that could be really exciting. I just want to know what is it? Tell me what it is. I want one. <laughs>